please kindly take your seats, as we are to begin shortly. Please rise for the national anthems. Please resume your seats. We hope that you had an enjoyable tour and networking reception. Those who were unable to take the tour or would like to revisit are welcome to do so after this event. We would like to make this evening to be one of your most memorable. Please take a moment to light the candles on your table as a tribute to those affected by the earthquake. It's a real pleasure uh, to join with you here at uh, the BAPS Charities Gala. This is a, a great organization that represents the true Canadian spirit, community spirit of giving back to those in need, as you're doing through your contributions tonight. And it is truly in the spirit of the leadership of uh, BAPS since its presence in Canada many years ago and around the world through BAPS charities under the inspiration of Pramukshri Maharaj. This is an organization that through tens of thousands of volunteers around the world, hundreds of thousands of donors, contributes millions of hours of volunteer time to building stronger communities, to caring for those in need. And tonight in particular, let me thank all of the sponsors for doing their part in helping the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, uh, one, of, uh, uh, one of the most respected and effective uh, charitable organizations in Canada, as well as the assistance being given by BAPS charities to the Jap Japan Disaster Relief Fund. Those of us who aren't part of the BAPS community have come to know it and have grown an affection for it. A community rooted in the ancient culture of Gujarat in India, a, a community who uh, has spread all around the world, across North America, in the Caribbean, in Europe, and everywhere it goes, it brings the remarkably highly educated, talented people uh, uh, who, who draw from the, their Hindu faith, their inspiration. We see no better example of that than at the magnificent mandir next to us, which was opened by Pabruk Sri Maharaj and Prime Minister Stephen Harper four years ago. And so on behalf of the Government of Canada, of all Canadians, let me thank uh, all of those involved in BAPS for uh, their contribution to Canada which isn't just about taking care of their own community. Just uh, two weeks ago, I was in this hall for the health fair, where medical doctors and practitioners from a variety of different uh, disciplines were providing free services to help diagnose illnesses and provide treatment. And yet, we see tonight the reaching out to the broader community, including those in need overseas in Japan following the recent disaster. So from the bottom of my heart, I would like to say an enormous thank you to all of the leadership, the volunteers, the donors, the sponsors, the spiritual directors of uh, this Munder and BAPS all throughout Canada uh, for the great work that you do. We as Canadians can all be proud of the fact that Canada is growing uh, closer 
to the world's largest democracy, India, closer commercially, culturally this year, in the year of India in Canada, and politically with the first visit of an Indian head of government to Canada in 34 years with Prime Minister Manohar Singh's visit to uh, Toronto last summer. We are now moving forward with negotiations of a free trade agreement. We've opened eight additional trade promotion offices throughout India, including one in Ahmedabad in Gujarat, normalizing Canada's relations with that dynamic part of India. And so we look forward to continuing to uh, build that human bridge, that link that the Indo-Canadian community represents, in particular here, the Gujarati community. Again, thank you to all of you for what you're doing to make uh, the contributions tonight possible, and we wish you continued success. Thank you very much. And all ages coming together as one to raise money and resources for communities here and abroad. When the earthquake and the tsunami hit Japan in March, the world reacted immediately. Leaders sent their sympathy and support. Premier McGuinty responded on behalf of all of us here in Ontario. The Japanese ambassador came to Queen's Park and for the first time in 25 years addressed the legislature, speaking to us, asking everyone to set aside some time and resources to help the children of Japan. After the initial shock of the earthquake and tsunami, I was inspired at how the world rolled up its sleeves to offer assistance and support. And I know you did that here at BAPS Charities. Your Japan Relief Fund appeal is front and center on your webpage. This is what you do. You help those in need. And as Minister Kenny was saying, it is not simply here in this place, but throughout North America and around the world. You connect people from all over the world, from different backgrounds, through your charity and your generosity, quite simply through your humanity. And you've been doing this for more than 50 years. BAPS Charities truly epitomizes the Vedic concept that the whole earth is a family and you make this concept a reality. You make it matter on the ground through the work that you do. You make fundamental and positive changes in people's lives. And the McGuinty government here in Ontario deeply appreciates your work and we thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, not-for-profits and charities help sustain our quality of life, especially in our communities. So you represent the best of us. You make our province a more open and more compassionate place to live. So in closing, fir milinge apna kalyao rakna. Danyavad, and thank you. On behalf of the Government of Ontario, I'm delighted to extend warm greetings to everyone attending the fifth annual Gala Fundraising Event 2011, hosted by PAPS P -A -P -S Charities. The people of Ontario are a diverse group, united by a common bond, their belief in a compassionate and caring society. This sincere regard for the well-being of others is clearly demonstrated this evening as guests gather to lend support to the Canadian National Institute of the Blind. I commend the dedicated organizers with BAPS and everyone in attendance tonight for your support of CNIB, whose services and programs help to ensure the independence of Canadians with vision loss and raise awareness of vision health. Know that your generosity does much to make Ontario an even better place to live. Please accept my sincere best wishes for a highly successful and enjoyable fundraiser signed by the Premier of Ontario, Dalton McGuinty. Uh, thank you so much uh, to BAPS uh, for tonight's event and for all the hard work that they've put in uh, to making this an incredible evening. Uh, thank you to everyone that's attended. Thank you to all the sponsors and thank you to uh, all the honourable ministers uh, that have attended this evening. We really appreciate all the support. Um, 
CNIB uh, has been an institution in Canada for over 90 years. And in Canada, we have over 836,000 individuals with significant vision loss. So if I could ask everybody, could everyone in the audience, um, could you all close your eyes? Now I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna come and look and make sure that everyone has their eyes closed. Now, try to continue eating. How difficult is that? So you can imagine individuals, as they lose their sight, the simple things in life. How do you cope even in your own house? How do you make yourself a cup of coffee without burning yourself? How do you find the difference between cans in your cupboard. Very difficult time. So part of our mission at CNIB is to help individuals cope with their vision loss and to help them and help train them and assist them with these types of, of issues that they need to deal with every day. How do you get to the bus stop? How do you go shopping? If you're a student, how do you go to university? How do you get to your classrooms? So we have individuals that go into homes uh, that help in individuals with mobility, uh, and that's part of what, what our mission is as an organization. Uh, we help people with, with confidence and skills that they need to fully participate in life. Um, the other thing I would like to uh, just mention, and I, I won't take much longer, uh, May is Vision Health Month. This is an extremely important month for CNIB because it's our time to focus individuals across Canada in regards to their vision health. And one of the shocking statistics that we have is that 75% of all vision loss is, pre is preventable. So if I can leave you with one thought this month is please, please go and get an eye examination with your eye care professional. So many people uh, in this room will be uh, hopefully not surprised but, but happy to find out that their vision is okay. But there may be others in the room that find out shockingly that there may be a problem with their eyes. So May being Vision Health Month, please, please, please go and have your eyes checked and, and hopefully you'll find uh, no problems. Um, and as, as we have an aging population, the statistic in Canada uh, is that in the next 20 years, significant vision loss will double in this country. So we have to be prepared for that. We need to develop a vision strategy for, a national vision, vision strategy for Canada, which we don't have now, which is really critical for, for our country uh, in the next 20 years. So thank you so much to everyone that's come tonight. You have been a great help to us. Uh, and again, thank you BAPS for all the, all the support and all the help that you've provided. Thank you.